That's all you can say about today. What do we got going on here? I suppose here? this is where we talk about where the trip starts. We're currently in uh, Perth Airport at the moment, doing Bimini twists and setting up fly lines. Let's just say that there may be a fly line spread out here and there may be a fly line spread out there in the airport, but you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? We gotta be ready. This time tomorrow morning, we will be fishing. Uh, we actually land in Cocos Islands five o'clock tonight. Mm -hmm. And then by the time we transfer and do all the rest of it, you know, it's gonna be a bit late. The fellas do not wanna be setting everything up then. So I'm currently setting up my nine weight stuff. Um, which is a full float and then gonna go to a 12 weight. Hey mate, how are We're you? Totally in the guy's way. You could, this is we're in the middle of the airport here, but we don't know you did. That's it, mate. Yeah, no, that's all right. <laughs> I'd be like, get out of me way. <laughs> Hey. Trying to roll the dart here, it's been a, like two days. <laughs> Straight on the fish <laughs> whistles. The boys have actually made it. Two days travel. And we've actually turned up. This is a very, very good feeling. I actually don't get too invested in a trip and too excited until I land. Like half an hour ago, the wheels touched down and it was just one of those feelings. It was like, Magical we're actually feeling. here. With the rod tubes are here, bags are here. The scenes flying in. Oh, incredible scenes. Like, we actually saw the flat. Pilot came in, banked over the whole of Focus. Absolutely magical. We haven't slept much, so the boys are pretty rattled still, but it's just that feeling now of like, let's go unpack, bend the rods, make sure nothing happened to them. So like to get to, bit, yeah, to get to Cocos Islands, there's two flights a week. So to line up those flights with living in Airlie, that's the hardest part. For us to get here, we gotta go early Mackay, which is like an hour and a half drive. And then from Mackay to Br Brizzy. Mm -hmm. Brizzy to Perth. Perth to Christmas Island. Christmas Island to Cocos. So it's a mission, but nothing ever happens that's good. It's like easy, you know, it always that's is. That's right. I feel like if it's a mission, it's gonna be worth it. So this is a start. Good morning, this is Cooper, he's the guide. He's left his sonnies at home. <laughs> <laughs> and we're chasing bonefish today. We've asked Cooper to get up early. He's, what'd you say, you were six weeks deep? Yeah, we've done six straight. Six weeks deep into guiding, and we're, <laughs> we've got him up at five in the morning because myself and Gilly back here, all we want to see is a tailing bone. And so if we can film a tailing bone and catch a tailing bone on kind of sun up, first thing on a, on a week long trip, that's like the dream for a fly fisherman, you know? So here we are, we're waiting across the flats, absolutely glamour weather. And um, I have no doubt in probably half an hour to an hour's time, it's gonna be on. So <clears throat> stick with us. <clears throat> All I wanna do is catch a fish first. We've had a couple days of travel. All I want to do is catch fish and then I'm going to drop back and just show you guys basically where we are, what we're doing, do the full rundown because uh, it's going to be a pretty epic week. That's a pretty good fish, eh? You see that one? Fins out? Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Got a bit going on here. Get away. Oh my. Are you copping that? Oh, that was horrible cut. Oh! Tell me you're on that. Oh, 
he was on it. Yep. Oh, bruh. Bruh. Dude. Good fish, dude. That was absolutely insane. All right, we're back. You incredible fish. Gilly. Oh, yeah. We're doing it, brah. That's a great fish to start off with here. Yeah. Brah. That as a first bone. <laughs> <laughs> After a couple days travel, Waking up at five in the morning, watching this guy tail, so then putting a fly in front of him. Doesn't get much better than that as a start, hey. That is honestly is all you can ask for. That is all you can ask for. It's hard for you guys to see. We're trying to get a shot of it, but basically a kilometre into the distance here, there'd just be a hundred plus tails just glistening in the sunlight so the idea is we come in ultra shallow we're going to walk the sand and then kind of come in on the big ones but i've never ever seen that in my life like as someone who does a lot of sight casting to see that many tails in the sunlight wow Kind of, there's one that's just that one on the right and comes down. this thing. Yeah. Well, there's one just here. See him? I just don't want to shoot over the top of him. Just go a meter in front of him. That other one's. Oh, he's coming in. This other one's coming in too. Oh my gosh. Um, I think this guy's bigger. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. That's good. About, about there. He's on that. Yeah. <sighs> tick, 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 hey. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> we watched those three fish then just Never really get rare. It's so rare. I mean, you get to watch a fish. You get to just like watch him do his thing and take a second to appreciate it like that. Oh man. Such skinny water, too. <laughs> it's like, like it's, yes. it's angle deep water. <laughs> But he's too big to fit under the water. Yeah, he's touching. Yeah. But when his peg fins are on the bottom, his dorsal's out. Like that's, dude, that's a, <laughs> that's so big. Day one. And we're watching these things, filming them to the point where we can just come in and stalk them and just appreciate it for what it is. Like that's absolutely, Epic. You guys are probably just seeing chrome because of how shiny they are, but that's a bad time to All right, buddy. You've done me an absolute solid. So, it's just different, man. It's been nine years since I've targeted bones. Last time I did it was at six, so I, and it was good, but it, like this is just as different, hey. This is like crazy. And you stand up, you know, like that was a big tail we spotted, that there was three of them just side by side. 
and I stand up and as I'm standing up I just see tails glistening in the light the fellas are going to work here I could fish coming in slightly left I'll be patient with him because he's not bad at all this guy is that still him no. yeah just behind those fish oh yeah and to the right a little bit that's uh, definitely a target acquired. Oh, oh that was... That was a tank. He's coming, coming, coming. Come on, he likes that dust. Oh, come on. He's on that. Yep. The way he's good, man. Towered on it. That was epic, bro. That's a good one. Yeah, he's not bad. He kind of I accidentally spooked one and it made that dust cloud and he came in on it. It was like the perfect setup. Jeez, that's a lot of pressure, hey, for them to do yeah. that. Seventh fastest fish in the world. Are they? Yep. Really? Yeah. He's getting there, hey. Yeah, he's a cracker. Be like four and a half, five probably. Alright, we just we've literally gone, I think that's four bones now, and they're just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Tide's coming in slightly. And uh these bigger guys are pushing up super shallow. And you just you, like he was still tailing, you know, it's a little bit deeper, it's gone from ankle to calf, and he was still tailing. The bars on him. I'm really into this. <laughs> Dude, that's a big fish, hey. He's so uh, he's going basically he's an arm. He's a full arm. Yeah. Probably six here, it'd be four or five pound. He was like... <sighs> eight foot away from me, man. Oh, that's the backing. <laughs> that's definitely the... Biggest one I've caught this morning. He's a tank. All way into a good spell. Yeah, sick. He's a giant. Oh. He's huge, man. He's, he's big. I didn't think he was that big. Yeah. Wow, man. Oh! oh. He's a giant. <laughs> He's a giant. Gilly! Oh, what a stuff. oh my god! Gilly! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Whoa, man. That's the that's, girl. that's what we wanted. Far out, dude. <laughs> what? Oh. Like, at the rod tip. This is. Well, there you this go. Is, hold on, hold on. Absolute horse of a bone. It's like the fourth one for the morning. What is it? 7:45. And hey, I'll take that. That's a. They're a, not <laughs> a dream. <laughs> like that is a world class bone. In what? 300 mil of water. Before we were fishing in ankle deep. Tried a little deeper. 
Look at that. Well, it was a morning session. How big was yours? We're saying seven. Uh, seven what was it? Point, seven point six. Did you say? Seven yeah, point seven and a half. Seven, seven and a half pound fish for Gilly first thing in the morning. Day yeah, one. A uh, couple of really really good fish there. We honestly asked Coops to put us on to tailing bones, and the man delivered. He definitely definitely <laughs> delivered in the first minute. Yeah, <laughs> and. and uh, so the, I think one of the greatest things about this place is obviously for us, we don't know too much about it, but we know it's small and accessible. We've got this cloud that's just rolled in. So he's just gone, you know what? Let's go to the shore break and go and find some fish that are rolling onto the actual surf itself. So we've rolled in, Rod's in the car, gonna have some lunch, have a drink, and then just completely different scene, completely different fish. Yeah, and what are we? Probably nine o'clock? Yeah, on the dot. <sighs> <laughs> That's uh, epic, man. That is so life's cool. Good, eh? Life's good, fishing's good. That cloud can stay that side, we'll go that side and just keep going. Alright, hopefully that wind isn't punching too hard through this little hole, but that, the boys reckon's like a gateway to heaven. In front of us here we've got a total beach, and um, they've they already started walking up ahead of me. We're going to basically walk along here, and bones, they say, get washed up onto this beach, and we're going to be chasing them in like a couple inches of water, so... You know, all they're doing is leaving it up to them. Total open mind about the first day second day and third day just anything they say we're gonna do we're just we're all in we just want the full experience and um look i've got the sand between my feet fly rod in hand backpack on let's go
a bit. Yeah, I think went down and out. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, just here, pull up, pull up, pull up. Gilly, 20, 30 meters, two step. Oh, he's big. Oh, that's a big bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is up there with the coolest thing I've ever done. Beach bones rolling up on the surf, just charging the sand. Hopefully, you guys could see that. There was like four or five fish literally in i don't know maybe 30 40 mil of water and gilly's chasing the others behind me but <laughs> not many places in the world you get to do that that's for sure i don't think you could get a more would the word be diverse like from beach to to a full blown jungle. Yeah. Yeah. Like you've got the beach twenty meters there, and you've got an absolute hectic jungle of falling death. Like you wouldn't set up a swag here anyway. No, nah, you wouldn't. Know. Like you know, it'd be funny when it really rained hard. You still wouldn't stand under the trees. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's it. Worked me out a bit though. Been okay down. There it is. That's a big fish, eh? Yep. Straight on the crab, man. Wow. This, this possible PB here, bruh. Straight on the crabby, eh? I'm into that. I did not expect him to, uh, oh no. He's good fish. Oh. Are we doubled up here, Andrew? Hey man, that's epic, mate. Double, double. Hasn't run yet. Nice. Nice man. All right. 
price for me so I can net his fish for yours. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming with you. So, you got leader. Oh, jeez. Are you kidding? <laughs> that was chaos, man. Look at the size of these things. Those things, man. There's not many places in the world you can see two bones of that, that size. Level. I'm gonna get. Um, this is a big net. This is God life. Me. If you can, <laughs> double hand. And I'm just gonna film because they might kick out, but I'll, I'll hold them there. Oh, dude, they're massive. Oh! That's the biggest one anyway. Look at that fish. Oof! Man! Release? Yeah, go for it. Hey, dude, I Is didn't. It? That's they're just massive here. Yeah, right? just... It's a big old bony, eh? I might just come to you for a quick shot. You got any snapper leads in there? Let's so put a little snapper lead in for me. Look at that. Yes. You're not looking too bad hey, there. It's not bad looking at all. <laughs> well, um, I'd say that calls it for the fellas. We actually had Cooper come and pick us up in a Mav. Means we didn't have to walk back, which is just huge. Uber. Huge. We're not paying you though, no tip, no <laughs> way. <laughs> um, not sure what's going on this afternoon. We're definitely gonna have a couple of beers. Big plans tomorrow. We're gonna go chase the elusive bumpies. Gilly is gonna be first shot getting in there because um, the man is on fire. And what else? Don't know. We're gonna beers. We're gonna definitely beers. Have a definite beers this afternoon. Talk about a bit of a game plan tomorrow, but we want to go for the variety. You know, we had the full experience today with the bones waiting the flats and we caught heaps. You know, you guys probably only, only going to see a very, very small portion of how many fish we caught. Um, but tomorrow is going to be variety. We're going to take spin rods out with us. We're going to chase yellowfin, dog tooth. We're going to do fly rods. We're going to do bumpies. But it should be an epic day. If we can nail tomorrow, that'll be all time. And then it's just kind of like, I think we've got two days left after that. Yeah. To do surf GTs and just random stuff. Like we, we're going for the full full experience here. So far, we've abs today was as good as it gets. Very good, big tails, that's what we want to see. Welcome, if you haven't watched the 
series or started watching the series. Myself and Gilly are actually at Cocos Island with Hello Backing. Today I've got Connor with me. We are chasing the elusive bumpies. We've done the bones, we've done the tailing, we've done the surf bones. Now, we want the full experience of this place. We've taken the 19 out this morning and we've sent it to a pretty magical little island where we're gonna be chasing bumpies. Um, soon after that, we're gonna be chasing GTs, dog tooth tuna. We want the full experience of this place, but for now, we're gonna target a fish that very, very few people in the world have ever, ever targeted or caught. So, chances of us catching one are slim to none, but that's the whole idea of being in a place like this because it could happen. Um, so look, I'm just gonna go to work here. There's gonna be drone shots, there's gonna be some really cool things involved and just something completely different for you guys. So, I can see tails, mega, mega big blue tails. It's kinda like, if you don't know what a bumpy is, it's like a ginormous big tusky, uh, but a little bit more green than just straight blue. Let's go get them. There's a couple in real tight there. Like the beach tight. Might just... There's a little GT in there, eh? Yeah. If this happens, man, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. If this happens, dude. If this fish punches to these bombies, you just run and smoke him. Come on, baby. This this is it. This is what I need. This is pretty intense, Connor. <laughs> I've got a lot of herd on him, eh? He'll turn and run and he's kind of I pull him up. Nico, if I get this thing, man, oh, we're having a few tonight. Oh, man, this is magical, dude. How good is this? I'm going to come in with you. Just keep the herd on him. Just going to sail him and sail him and sail him. <laughs> we 
ages away from that blue hole too. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, yes, bro. Bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> Get it in. Oh my yeah. god. Wait, look at the colours on that creature. So different a bit lost for words here to be fair, like you come and chase a dream fish in a place like this. We've had the most incredible experience on bones and then to uh to have the idea of coming and targeting these fish and catching one, you know, it's it's slim to none. It's basically you don't expect it ever, but for what for it to go down like it did, it's a special moment, hey, and I, I think I've mentioned it before, but I think Nick's got such an incredible thing here that he's created. The logistics of what he's done to make all this happen must just be out of this world. And this is accessible. Like, you can come here and do it like we have. And, um, <laughs> first one ever. My whole experience of fishing, my whole lifetime of fishing, this is my first bumpy. Um, and to have it in a place like this on a trip, doing with mates, you know, meeting guides and Nick for the first time and just, it's been epic. And then to have this ticked off, we've st the crazy thing is we've still got a few days to go. And have a look at that. Like, that is a fly fisherman's dream. It's, I think any fisherman knows the feeling of, like having that magical fish that, I mean, it's not magical. Look at the head on that thing. But having that fish that you target, or well, one day you feel like you can target it and one day you have a shot at it but then you hook one and land one it's cool it's very cool so i'm actually going to take a moment here and just kind of chill out for a bit and just enjoy the whole place for what it is and let this fella just go back to his coral home it's actually a horrible home out there it's nasty and spiky and but that's what those teeth are for they get in there and they just chew everything to pieces and um yeah look i'm i feel very very incredibly lucky to have that fish and encounter a fish like this on my first attempt um epic man so cool Come tight and I went, oh, come on, no come way on. that's happened. I don't know if you should... 
Oh no, you, you're getting him, you're getting him. As soon as he goes over that lip. Oh no. Oh no. If he goes over, like, if he comes onto this flat, I'd stay here, get him, no, no. Keep him on this flat, that's it, perfect. We're gonna have to beach him. All right. We're gonna have to beach him. Look at the face on him, bro. <laughs> That's it. We'll just put him straight on the sand and I'll run up and grab him. Oh, oh, not too hard, not too hard. You've beaten him, you've broken him. Oh. I'm gonna go to this side here. Just keep slowly working back. Pull it there, pull it. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> How does it feel, Nico? Oh, mate, it's so good. I'm so happy. I've, I've seen many people come to the lodge and catch this fish of a lifetime, and I've just watched them, and I've sat at the lodge and heard their stories of how stoked they were to catch this fish when they've been here, and I've finally caught one myself, and I'm just, I'm over the moon, man. I'm just so happy, eh? I'm so happy to finally get one myself. So incredible, yeah. dude. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so happy. get a shot of the three fellas. Oh, okay. This is how much of an epic day we're having today. We did bumpies, tick, mind blowing there. Two bumpies in the morning, sent the drone up, watched them, just had an all time. And um, I'm gonna quickly let you just watch what happened when we shot out in the front of the blue water because Connor here, didn't really tell us how big the doggies were. Um, and we kind of knew there were dogs here, we didn't realize how big they were. So check out this footage quickly. And all of a sudden, in another 10 minutes time, we're out here chasing bones just for the afternoon. He's passed on the net to me. I'm full net bitch. Very and um, Thank you, Matt. we're just gonna have a fun afternoon because the pressure's off. Is that one there? Oh, he's casting at one. If you get one on the um, on the talk, that'll be pretty powerful. Is he on it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see him. That's pretty big. You gotta redo that. Did that hook you? That's huge. Back him, That's powerful, man. Yeah. Cooper will love watching that. Okay, well, we're going to keep going for the afternoon because <laughs> pressure's off. And uh, we're just going to have a time. We are going to take it in turns. We're going shot for shot. We're going to film and get some cool stuff in here. So let's do it. Gilly, do you want to do me a favor? In the back, there's one of those jigs where the motor is. Can you just tie it onto that P6? Oh 
Oh my gosh, that's a bait ball for Chip. That's on. Oh man. Right. Get bored. Uh, you're in a, we're in a real bad zone, but that's one. Do you want me to go around? Yeah. Hold it there, hold it there, right there, right there, stop. Now, you're going to have to. <laughs> I'm gonna have to like, I don't know, it was just reverse, reverse, reverse. Richter. My bad, chicken on that side. Uh, that was a dog. You reckon? 100%. Yeah. Oh. Spool, spool, spool. Yeah. Hot. Yeah. <laughs> Dog forwards, Gilly. Nah, pull him, pull him. It's a big dog. While I'm rigging up, Connor's just gone and nailed a nice little fin. Wasn't filming, but that was an epic little fin. That fella there is going to be the fellas for sashimi and possible just sashimi because it's Absolutely. pizza night. Pizza night. I don't want to take, I don't want to take pizza night away from Connor. He's been talking about his garlic prawn pizza, and. Uh, Look, if he's netted my bumpy. Best pizzas on Cocos. Oh, yeah, mate. Best on Cocos? Best, Best on pizzas. Really? Best pizzas in Australia, actually. No, nah, you killed the, oh. that was the, the joke. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Back at home, we've got Whitehaven Beach and all the rest of it, but this is up there with one of the most stunning places I've ever seen. Hey, to think we're here fishing and the fishing is world class and it looks this good. Like, it's definitely the palm trees that set it off. Gilly's not too bad, you know? I got right. Gilly goes right. <laughs> but. We're just gonna walk this tropo section here and take it in for a minute. Hopefully spot a GT. But wow, what a place, hey. Very, very special place on earth this is. This is like This is just that, ridiculous, like man. Cards and then yeah. There's something even better. That's this legit. That is legit postcard stuff. Like that. To right. Yeah, I've got one. Yeah, this big guy I'm here. Burn it into this one. Down there. Oh, rushed it. Oh my gosh, that was on the rod tip. That was cool, man. Really cool. That was on the rod tip. Big redemption there from Connor. Massive redemption. So cool when the ladies in the guys. Can I go like, full net boy? Like, can I experience the netting? There's some just here too. Still, he wasn't bad. There's nothing wrong with him, eh? No, it's good. I'll just do. It's a good one right here. You got? You gonna get him, Gilly? I got a big one coming from right to left on oh, no, he's spocked. Probably one of the wildest days I've ever experienced. We've gone bumpies, dog tooth tuna, yellowfin tuna, and now on to bonefish and possible permit. Nick, who's uh, the whole main big dog of the whole situation. 
Oh, I, oh, see what happens when you don't let me let, let him? He splashes us. He's a good fish, dude. Give us a little... He's a great fish. Um, he's just having a time. He's just having an hour to himself because crab out. Crab is out. How many bones do you reckon you've caught? Your time. Lift him up a little bit. Yeah. Not even worth trying to guess. I think. That's so ridiculous that that is like the average size bone around here. <clears throat> One of my favourite critters for sure. A lot of respect for those little guys. Just not facing you. Oh yeah, got him. Well, that's a cracker. That's a big fish. Yeah, show. he looks good. Oh, we had it. Good fishing. Get a little closer because the crab. The crab. That's a. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, you're out. They just don't allow graceful release. It's not us, it's them issue. And another one tailing to his. Oh, shot, dude. Shot. Another one, uh, that was his dust, hit his tail out. Oh yeah, here he comes, here he comes. Did they ever just push into that tree? Yeah, they can, can come straight across. Oh, you're not going to hit him with the stick, so no. He's on that. On it. Yes. Shot. How's the backdrop? Oh, he, oh is he going to do it? Oh, yes! Yes! He's fully got him! Tree bones. That guy had his tail out for a little second. I'm sure you can see the backdrop and I hope it does it justice. This guy? Yeah. Oh, I oh, thought he popped it. That was not too bad. Good release. Bombing. Neatly as you can, put it into their mouth. Uh, you got yeah. that one there that just tailed on the left. So weigh your face. Oh, yep. oh my god. Yeah, big one there. Nice. Oh, straight over. He bar that? Yeah. Yeah, he's coming to me. Mate, that was perfect. Yeah. Oh. Got another one there, yep. bigger one. Oh my god, I went 
No, you're not. You're not, are you? Oh, oh just here! They spooked his mate. <laughs> as soon as you get denied, this is the whole idea behind the hat holder. Um, quick fire. Quick fire. What are we going here? Little white shrimp. Oh, man, I'm looking in the distance, and the, the fish are so big that in the distance you can. Oh, Gilly, you see that? Oh, no. There's two tails in front of you, man. This is heaven. Absolute heaven. There's, a, there's his tail, he's moving left. He's kind of in that, it'd be like in your glare. Fully on it. Oh, he's eating it too. Hold on. Trout strike! <laughs> <laughs> I sunk so you good, You fully man. sunk, fell in, <laughs> and I've just had to trout <laughs> It had to be done. That was good. That was the trout strike on the rod tip. Come on, little fella. Out of all, all hold on. On, I want the big one. Got him. That's a bigger one too. Oh, that was all time. And we're dancing here. How's the shot? Just. Special place, dude. Very, very special place. We might even, uh, that is a great fish. He's worth a second run. Yeah. Yeah. To get a bone of that quality in a situation like this at the rod tip straight after another one. See you, buddy. You've just, you've made my day. Your turn. Nothing wrong with him. Oh, shot. Straight on it. Yes! Crispy! Not through it. Oh! Stunning fish! Could be a little hold here for ya. Got him! Did my job. There he is. We just had to nail that one troppo shot. Righto, when he's ready. Might be right there now, all right. Sick, stunning. Right, so we've nailed a couple of bones in that really tight stuff. Connor's just saying the best shot of us getting a permit is going to be coming out a little bit wider. It's going to change over to a little white crab again. This guy's going back. Yeah. How good. How good. Get out there. Out of me shadow. You just going to sit? Woo. He's coming for a walk. So I'm going to change back over the little white crab and um, I did say it earlier this morning, you know, that if we did nail a bump here it would be the greatest day in history but it's getting better because we've nailed one and we've nailed bones. Is there like a thing with getting a perm at the same time? Some kind of, not a slam but it might just, just be, beers. yeah, like I don't know if it's a grand slam or anything like that, I think it's just just an all-time day, one to remember forever. So let's try, let's try to get it done.
tidy. That was the big one we wanted. Stop it, he nearly went to back in. Woo! I'm gonna go this side. Probably ate it more than ever because old mate snatched it from him first, and then he would have been like, "Nah, I'm not copping this this time." Oh, just gonna quickly hold him up for you guys. He did a run, so he should be sweet. It's actually a, like a. What do you reckon, Matt? Today was special, bro. That's all you can say about today. <laughs> oh, f**k. <laughs> I just start slept with my feet up so you wouldn't get me. <laughs> Myself, Gilly, Connor, and Nick behind us have just done absolute miles and definitely got the smiles. Um, we're on Cocos Island with Hello Backing, and it's been an absolute pleasure to be here. Honestly, look at the place. Like, we're just about to walk over to this edge here and station ourselves up to get ready for GTs that are coming in. But for now, I'm going to backtrack a couple of hours. You guys are going to watch the absolute just perfection that we've had over the last few hours and it's Have a look at it. <laughs> Have a look at it. <laughs> all right let's keep going got him got him Oh no! Still got it. <laughs> Boy, this guy's going for it, dude. incredible I'll actually give myself a little high five for that shot too what are we we're a few inches deep now incoming tide it's probably not many places in the world you can chase bonefish with palm trees and trees like oh, I literally thought it was one and I was like, no way that just happened, but the palm trees on our left, bonefish permit, and GT's on our right. What I'm actually going to do right now is send the drone up. There's the tiniest bit of sand in front of me. I'm going to use that last little bit of land that's left 
and I'm going to set up and send the drone up because I want to have a look at this place for myself. Like I haven't seen it properly on the drone. So I can only imagine how stunning it's going to be like from a kind of like our perspective, it's incredible. But um, these guys haven't done much in the way of drones because first of all, there's an airport here and it's really hard to send up a drone. But the other thing is setting up and trying to find GTs like we do at home. So look, I'm just going to send it up. We're going to have a look around. <clears throat> if we do see a GT, you're probably going to see Gilly on full foot Falcon. <laughs> Sen <laughs> sending it Proper sending. sending it to try and intercept him um, I'm feeling good but really well good. yeah look we've done it we've done a few kilometers you can't say the bones wouldn't be loosened up Connor's on the outside he's on bone patrol um, and this is gonna be my one little sandy spit here just to set up and have a go but most likely just going to sit down and have a drink too because look at our own pool I, I bet it's like a 30 degree pool though it's more of a sauna oh yeah i'm not stepping in that thing <laughs> that's hot all right here we go guys let's check this out Oh, bro, they smoked the crab. That's a good one. That's a good fish, man. Oh, no, I saw mullet in here. Oh, no, there was a fish. Dude, we're well into back. Oh, Gilly! Oh, this sucks. Oh, man. Is this for real? That's got to be a hundred meter run, well and truly. Now you get a wind a million miles an hour. <laughs> what they do is you basically set hooks, they burn out. I'm still on backing here. And then they turn around and go, yeah! All the way back <laughs> all here. All the way back. And then they get all the way in. And then they go back again. <laughs> We've been kind of hanging out and been denied a few times by bigger bones. So I put on this tiny crab that we used back at home for our little permit. Um, this this is definitely my PB, man. Look at, oh my God, Look dude. at how shallow it is, dude. Like, we've gone on to, I think they're, they're kind of like, I'd call them pancakes, you know? And from these, you get this epic vantage point. That's not a loose drag. Like, I've targeted bones before, and that's not a loose drag. We came on and he was just hunting the flats. Gilly spotted him. I looked in a bit and saw some mullet and then put the little white crabby on him. And he annihilated it. And I definitely uh, yanked on him. <laughs> <laughs> look at your smorgasbord on your hat. Yeah, look. I'm a fly guy now. <laughs> Bro, oh. look at it.
this, this is the town again. Mental, man. This is. I think I've done three PBs today. Do you want to um, just just have a look at that thing in this water? Hey, that's. How's the scenes here? Hey, Look at this thing bow waving in. Big David. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you GT cuddling him. <laughs> All right. Dude, I'm getting some shots of that. That is incredible, Matt. That's a lovely fish, hey. That is We're a beautiful one, man. This is the one I needed. <laughs> this is the one I needed for my soul. Wow, man. <laughs> Yes, bring it in, Kelly. Bring it in, bring son. It in. We've that done is it. Incredible, man. We've done it. Wow. Woo wee. Gilly smoked an absolute monster on day one, and then we've just we've we've got the true Cocos experience today. We've got wow. on foot and we've just walked. Nothing but fly rods. Nothing but just this, like. Sand between my toes, tropical palm trees. Like it's, it's actually um, got to take it in a lot during the day. Like it's, it's pretty mental. Hey, you kind of just stop and have yeah. a look around. Hey, and I guarantee we've both said how stunning it's been over and over again. But I just like that's a postcard, man. And then I look that way, and it's a postcard. But there's big fish in amongst it. Like there's, they're just trophy bones. Something this, very special, and the yeah. boys have really helped us today. Nick at Hello Backing has created just something very, very incredible here, and he's the only one doing it. Good on him, mate. Good on you, mate. Like that's hats off to you. Making something like this happen, the logistics would be out of control. The money would be out of control, and for us to be able to come and do it, and anyone be able to come and do it. It's, um, yeah. That's just, I look one in of the coolest things I've ever done, hey. Yeah, yeah. Like. Oh. So, look, I'm just going to keep going to work here. Yeah. We've been surviving for four days. Don't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just because I made you slap yourself in the face. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Uh, what if he's can't go in the water uh, and you've drowned him? What's that? An eel. They can go in the water. Ah, oh, there you go. When you swim in the sea and an eel bites your knee, that's, that's a moray. Ha 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 Look at these things. What are they doing? They get close, they'll all draw their legs and fall off. Yeah. They're all fully going to fall off, aren't they? Hey fellas, making a real hasty fast escape. See him? He's uh, I fully just saw him. Yeah, he was on the green, like he was facing left. He's on the tip now, facing right. It's like uh, on the very tip of the drop off, facing right, heading out. Further right, further right. Yeah, that's good. Shot. On it. Got him, Gilly! That was magical. Hey, 
He had his fins out the water. Oh yeah, got him, got him. Sanger? Yeah. Got it? Yeah. Stay here, stay here, stay here, stay here, stay here. He is so shallow. He's got his back out the water, bro. Just nobody move, eh? out the water dude he should have smoked that oh he got him that's a good fish bro Just needed to get one shot today and that was double bones in tropical palm tree paradise the fellas have just gone and done it just before we leave see you buddy that was sick. I'm, having like, I'm having probably 13 beers tonight mm. Oh my god. Why are you that? Why was so heavy? Sore shoulders. Hey, Sonny. You're a f <laughs> That's what happens when the fellas go waiting and Cooper decides to put a heap of major handicap doggy jigs inside his bag. He's wondering why it was so heavy all day. It's just the Yeti water bottle. They'd probably be close to a kilo there. That started war too. Like, you know when you start war? That's bad, man. That's good. Like drilling a hole in the bung for you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. War, that's war. It's started. 